New Breed by Don Richards. Don Richards was introduced to music at a young age. Her father was a singer and a percussionist in the group Chocolate Milk, and her mother owned a dancing school. In her early teens, she spent time in a girl group as well as being signed to an independent label. She got a big break for making the band season three where she won a spot in the group that would become Danny DeCane. She was also part of the trio Dirty Money. Since Dirty Money disbanded, she primarily worked on her solo career. New Breed is Don's fifth solo album. Here's our honest review of New Breed by Don Richards. New Breed from Don Richards. Do you remember uh, the last time? Like, have you been keeping up with her solo album? Sadly, I have not, and I feel bad about that. I've I've he- I've been hearing <laughs> I've been hearing songs here and there, yeah. but I haven't actually listened to a full project. I just knew that. She was always like on the cutting a- edge of experimentation, mm. and uh, it's been like that for a while. I think that's why uh, Puffy wanted her in Dirty Money because I feel like he saw that she could see further ahead as yeah. far as sound and music. Most definitely. How do you feel about this album artwork, man? Man, I thought it was really interesting. Like, first off, like you know, I never knew about her Native American background and all that, so that was really interesting. But as far as for the cover, I feel like it's just a very intricate pose because i just like how the light is shining on her in a specific angle and i think that's what makes it shine the most so it's very unique yeah I, i'm pretty sure they thought that out very well about what angle they wanted to take the picture yeah it's shining on her i'm assuming she's in new orleans when she took this picture yeah, i really like the you know i'm not sure what you would actually call this yeah like what she's wearing I, right. I don't know what the word for that is yeah uh, but I like the way it looks. Yeah. And uh, she even wore it in uh, one of her music videos, okay. uh, uh, Jealousy. She okay. wore it in Jealousy, and it, it looked really dope in there as well. The flow of this album, man, the flow of this project is, is more of like a New Orleans sound. You know what I'm saying? With, I want to say, like that future experimentation sound I'm, I've been talking about, as well as some smoothed out R&B more i want to say more on the bolder side mm. of r&b and that's just that's kind of like the embodiment of don like she's very comfortable with herself very comfortable with her body her sexuality and all of that shows in her music yeah. and it just seems like she always is that artist that wants to push her music forward uh it just kind of i wish like say she did a song with janelle monet because i feel like they're kind of like not in the same vein, but they're both heading in the same I feel what you direction, mean. just not in the same path. Yeah, man, the flow, I can just describe this as just a musical journey. I feel like it's just an experience that you can just get from start to finish. And it's just like it'll take you places. The sounds like they sound like all over the place, but it's still cohesive and everything. So I think that's just the flow to me. It's just a beautiful arrangement of different sounds laid out in what, nine, ten tracks. Yeah. Highlights, man. Look, highlights for this joint. New Breed comes on. I really like the way it sounds. Yeah. I really like the uh, the way she goes into the hooks. Yeah. I like the the proclamation of basically like, look, man, I could do what you can do. I'm a king. She you said know no queens, saying? no queens. Yeah. I'm a king. <laughs> yeah. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like, she's, you know, stank, stanking her claim. And, you yeah. know, uh, the thing that the song that really, like, turned my head around and made me really pay attention with shades yeah. like when i first was listening to because shades came on i was just like yo this joint is dope yeah and it made me like click out of whatever i was thinking yeah. about and start really really zoning in on the music yeah. shades is amazing jealousy is really funny it's really dope but you it's know dope. the song writing on that is amazing <laughs> yeah. sauce is probably my favorite song on the joint okay uh I love Vultures and Wolves as well, and We Diamonds is just a really strong track, man. I really like it. We may be rough around the edges, but we still diamonds. Like, yeah. it, and and I like the skits throughout the project yeah. with with uh you know, I forgot what the name of the tribe is. It starts with a W. I, I can't remember. Right uh, now. I was just looking at it too. Uh, I mean, well, uh, I, I can yeah. look it up, but I don't want to say it wrong. <laughs> yeah, but the tribe that uh you know her family comes from is like one of the Black Native American tribes. Yeah. They have like kind of like speeches throughout and not just that she sampled her father's band's music throughout the oh project. so that was her father's band yeah. oh okay that's what's up yeah mel- uh, milk chocolate okay like i thought that was dope like that's i was just like man that's crazy on yeah. shades uh she did it on a couple songs as well shades jealousy i think it was one on sauce too at the end it's yeah. it's, 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 it's dope every, that she yeah. would do that and then she kind of like even did interpolations of her own songs like from the past as well you know i kind of got that vibe but i didn't know if i was you know sure or not 
That's yeah, cool. like so she, I thought I think she did her thing on that. Like, cause yeah. uh, it takes a lot of courage to even attempt, yeah, to try to pull that off. If right, you know what I'm right. saying. But she she did her thing, man. Yeah, um, I feel like when I I really start like New Breed was fire, but like I really started clicking in with spaces because. I forgot her last name, and that's when I hit you up in the text. I was just like, yo, this Dawn from Dirty Money? <laughs> and he was like, yeah. So, like, when Spaces, it was just something that space, Spaces that immediately, like, hooked me. Because, like, New Breed was just, like, the dope intro. Like, you don't even know what you're about to expect with this. And then it hits with Spaces. Then it goes into Dreams and Converse, which I really thought was dope. Uh, Shades was just a banger. Jealousy, I feel like, even though it was, like, you know, kind of funny, it was just kind of, like, the song that kind of hooks you in and just grabs you. And then Sauce was really dope. Vulture and Wolves, I just love all the meanings, different types of meanings behind it. You can interpret it so many different ways. And We Diamonds is just beautiful, man. Just really beautiful. So yeah, this this whole project is really a highlight for me. I really, really enjoyed it. And it's just like, like I said before, the the main highlight of it for me is just the various assortments of sounds and how they all blend well together. And it just takes you on a complete musical experience. Yeah, uh, I didn't mention um, Vulture and, and Wolves. No, I did, yeah. but I didn't talk about what it like the meaning behind it. Like, yeah. I thought it was dope that she talked about her insecurities and her demons as vultures. Yeah, and wolves. Like, and even like, I was just like, man, is she talking about Puff Daddy? That's what I thought too. Especially, at but the end. she could be talking about, about any anybody. label. Yeah. She could be talking about any label and just like feeling like she's busting her ass and almost slaving herself to help somebody else get, look better. Yeah. And I was just like, man, that's that's so deep. And I, I'm pretty sure anybody in the music industry can relate to that. Yeah. Like that's that's just so deep. Low lights, I don't really, I don't have any low lights. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? This joint is dope. It's It's got a New Orleans bounce to some songs like Dreams and Converse. Yeah. And But like, even though, in, in even Spaces, but even though she did the New Orleans bounce, she kind of made it sound like outer space as yeah. well. Yeah. So it's it's really weird for me to try to put in words. You just mm -hmm. have to listen to it. Yeah, and, and most definitely. It. Yeah, I have no low lights at all. Like you said, it's just something that you just have to take in and listen to and just to me just blast it out loud because there's so many different sounds you can hear and you're just going to be just sitting here just going like this the whole time so yeah final thoughts man look i think don is one of those artists like and i hate when you you know i know people hate when people compare people right right right. but i'm gonna throw the name out there don't get mad but like prince mm -hmm. like just and and i only say that just because of the, the diversity of the music yeah. that he pr produced over the course of Most his definitely. career like he always made sure no album sounded the same and everything like that yeah and i and not only that like he always was talking about what's next like what's the sound that's next not you know i'm not about to make purple rain 20 times even though he could yeah he wasn't about that he's just like all right i did that now let's see what's next yeah. and i feel like don is doing that she's looking at the industry what are people doing oh y'all want to make you know a sexy song i'm gonna do that with sauce but i'm gonna do it with my own on my yeah. own way where yes. it don't sound like what, what y'all doing like and then even like her music videos like it's sexy in a way that's like artistic sexy it's, it's different like you, you just gotta check it out don's like a, some sort of enigma and it's and like an energy and like if you listen to her i feel like you'll just just gravitate to it yeah most definitely man she's an artist a true artist and i feel like that's what shines in this project you'll get that artistry you get that future sound you get that just overall blend of this is my art and i'm trying to express it to you in my way and it comes off as really authentic it doesn't sound like she's trying to copy anybody she doesn't she's doing her own thing and i think that's what's most important when you're trying to be an artist especially in this day and age where there's so many uh songs that is emulated and it's, it's just great final grade i'm gonna get us join a check no questions asked y'all just gotta listen to it yes. it's his own it's his own experience if y'all haven't heard Don before, like, yeah, y'all just tripping. Y'all just got to check out some of her music, man, because yeah. she's always been dope, always seen into the future and everything like that. Because I don't know if she came up with the name Danity Kane or she came up with the logo, but it was one or the other. Because okay. D. Woods did one and Don did the other, and I can't remember which one was which. But I'm just saying, like, she 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 can see the future. <laughs> yeah, man, most definitely a check for me. Uh like I'm, I'm gonna have to go back and check some of our uh, other albums out because I haven't been paying attention. 
but i'm glad i caught this one this is definitely a worth of your time listen go listen to it chill kick back and relax for real because it's a journey i couldn't find a native american tribe that they're they're part of i can't it starts with a it starts w. with a w i just know it's from the ninth ward the ninth ward or yeah, something she's, she's from the ninth ward of and Wars. it's I want to say it, but I really don't want to mess it up. I'll, I'll just put it in the text because yeah. I'll find it after we're done recording. Yeah. It'll pop right up. Right. 